Hi, Illinois readers. I am Julie Abbott, author of the Eva Evergreen Duology, as well as several other books. And I am extremely honored that Eva Evergreen's Semi-Magical Witch was nominated for a Bluestem Award. So today I want to share a little bit of what Eva's about and the inspiration behind it, um, just so you will know a little bit more about the story. And so Eva Evergreen is a story of Eva, a 12-year-old witch with just a little pinch of magic who is trying to pass her witch's test uh, to become a full-fledged witch. But if she doesn't pass, she'll lose her magic forever. And for me, it's a story about resilience and about finding your dreams and believing in yourself, even if you're not very strong or very magical. And for me personally, this Eva's story came out actually from my own writing journey. Eva was the very first book I published, and it took me a lot of books to get to where Eva is. I wrote not one, not two, not three, but I wrote 12 different books trying to get to become published and become an author. And having that journey, it filled me with a lot of doubts. I didn't think that I could write. I didn't think that I knew how to make make a story happen. Um, but over time, and like Eva, I learned how to believe more in myself. And finally, I got to have my very first, very, very first book published. Another personal part that I don't usually share very much, but is a huge part of the book is Eva's Eva's story. They have to deal, they have this, this thing called the calling. And it's this strange twist of nature where there's a sudden earthquake or a sudden ice storm during a summer day. And it happens out of nowhere. Um, and for me, this came out of a personal experience when I was living in Japan. And I was by the seaside in the morning, heading back to Tor Tokyo. And I was on the train with my grandmother, my mother, and the train started rocking. And I thought the train was derailing because all I felt was a train moving side to side. But when I looked out the window and as the train stopped, everything was moving. And it turned out I was in the Great Tohoku earthquake, which was the 9.0 earthquake off the coast of Japan. And I was so lost, so confused, so nervous. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was I had to get my family to somewhere safe. So I took my grandma by the hand, I took my mom by the hand and guided them using my cell phone to a friend's house where we were able to stay the night safely um, and finally make our way back home the next day. But that, 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 that night, that day is something that's been in my memory for a long time. And and that's what also made its way into Eva Evergreen and has made it the story that it is now. There's also lots of tasty food because I love food and lots of amazing friends. And Eva, Eva Evergreen is one of the stories of my heart. And I hope you'll read it too and enjoy it and love it too.